me now, Alex Wilk, Senior Vice President at America Rising, someone who knows uh, the Clintons and everybody else pretty well <laughs> on the Democratic side. Doug Schoen, Democratic <laughs> Campaign Consultant and Fox News contributor. Great to see you. I yep. love you guys together. <laughs> so, Alex, I'm actually going to start with you because I, I'm looking for someone to paint a picture of how someone in the Democratic Party can go forth without leaning to the left. Sure. I mean, I think that that's a real problem with this crop of candidates because so, so many of them moved so far to the left after 2016 to avoid what happened to Hillary, which was Bernie coming at her from the left. Uh, that being said, it seems like Joe Biden kind of has an identity crisis in this area because, you know, on the one hand, you know, he there's all these stories out there that he's playing to the middle, but he's not necessarily standing up for the 94 crime bill. I mean, he's sort of like, well, I got stuck with it. He also won't admit that it led to mass incarcerations. Um, and so, you know, he's... Well, then he's not going to talk about what President Trump just did with prison reform. Uh, definitely not. I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to be on the other side of that. Uh, okay, so how big is the middle politically and the Democratic Party right now, Doug? The middle is about 60, 65 percent, 35 40 percent are what we would call left or progressive. Okay, that's a pretty big chunk. In fact, I had a former member of the DNC say that uh, that more progressive wing was about 25 percent, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere between 25 and 30. So, so you guys are pretty close in what you're saying. So you can't ignore it. So what does Joe Biden do? Well, I think what he's done is exactly right. He's pitched unity. He's been inclusive. He's been em pathetic. And most of all, he's been presidential, Harris. I've been very encouraged. I know from our conversation, Alex has as well, by what we've <laughs> seen from Joe Biden as a prospective candidate. Look, we're all Americans here. We want a good and healthy campaign. It doesn't well, do any of I us. I know people say they want civility. And recently in Iowa, I had a big group of people. We talked about civility right. and politics. And they want unity. Do people go to the polls because you make them feel good? Sometimes do they, they do. do. Because your wallet feels good. Sometimes both. <laughs> Alex? Well, it's interesting because, you know, Joe Biden has been put out there as this every man who can win back these Rust Belt voters that um, that were lost to President Trump in 2016. But I don't think that the evidence is all the way there that he actually can go get those voters. I think well, what do they those, want, Alex? I think those You're voters, from Pennsylvania, so you can tell me. Those voters, I think, were bought into Trump in 2016 and they're sticking with him. Um, I think a good example of where Joe Biden's falling a little flat with them is in his uh, failure to criticize China. He's, he's sort of writing it off. He's saying, oh, that's not a big deal. They're not going to eat our lunch. Um, he said that in Davenport, Iowa recently. Mm -hmm. that, I think that really falls on deaf ears in, in places like North, you know, northeastern Ohio and in western Pennsylvania. Doug? Yeah, I think he needs an inclusive agenda that talks about growth, health care, climate change, and offers to people who voted against Secretary Clinton, which is why I think those Midwestern states went to President Trump, offers them hope in a different direction. I think Biden's had a good launch, and he'll, he'll get to issues like China, but he's got to state his case, which I think he did very well over the weekend. Really so, hard to run against this economy, though. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I'm looking at that, and I hear you say climate change, and even some Republicans are now saying that maybe they need their own uh, message on yeah. that. But the economy is what it is. Yeah. Alex, last word. Well, look, the, the jobs are growing fastest in the counties that voted for President Trump, um, and I think that that makes it a Ooh, really that's tough a hard sell. statistic. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Uh, the, the, the jobs are growing fastest in the counties that voted for Trump as compared to the counties that voted for Hillary Clinton. All right. Good to see you both. Good to see thanks, you. Thanks, Harris. I'll be right back.